Ladies and gentlemen, it's me, James Finney, coming at you this Tuesday morning right here on the balcony above the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. We have a lot going on today. Outside on Wall Street, we got some protests. The lines for the uh, First Health COVID Care Center, they're around the block. And here on Wall Street, stocks appear to be set to see a bit of a slide to start off the session following a very hot inflation report. How hot? Let's now take a look to see how the markets are shaping up to start off this, the second trading session of the week. Now U.S. stocks slipping during morning trade this Tuesday as new inflation data continues to show a sharp rise in prices. The slide for stocks comes after the November producer price index showed a year-over-year -year increase of 9.6%, the fastest pace on record and above at 9.2% expected by economists. The hotter-than-expected inflation read comes as the U.S. Federal Reserve also kicks off its two-day meeting. The central bank will release a statement with quarterly projections for the economy, inflation, and interest rates. Investors will be watching closely this week for commentary around if the Fed plans to accelerate the end of its bond buying program. Tesla, one of the biggest droppers on the S&P 500 this morning, falling 2.3% after Elon Musk announced that he has sold another $906.5 million in shares. Ford also down 2.7% amid news that by 2030, Toyota will be investing $35 billion into battery-powered electronic vehicles. That happens to be a space where Ford has sought to become the leader. And on the COVID front, Pfizer announcing that its drug aimed at treating patients with the virus proved effective in a final analysis, including against the new Omicron variant. And lastly, some advice. It looks like in New York City, you can't go anywhere without a mask starting this week.